Rush Limbaugh. No, no, look, we've been telling you he's in a lot of trouble, but you're not getting it. So let me tell you again, okay? Now we're having a conversation about whether he's done. Now, no, no, look, you're gonna say, no, that's crazy, that's crazy. First of all, I know, I know, he's got 15 million listeners. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, that's like 15 million. <laughs> I'm sure he does. Okay, uh, we've shown over and over again, he can't possibly prove that. I've offered him a challenge. I said, he claims 20 million, great, show me, $10,000, I'll take it, I'll give it to you. That's gonna really hurt me, but I'll give you 10,000, I'll scratch up all the money I have, I'll go into debt to pay you if you can show me your 20 million listeners, you're full of crap. You don't have 20, you don't have 15, they're made up numbers, and now advertisers are leaving in droves, we've told you that before, but now why, now I think he's on his, possibly his deathbed. I mean, this is a unbelievably quick death spiral, okay? Uh, obviously we're talking about his career. So. On Thursday's program of Rush Limbaugh, uh, on WABC, most powerful uh, conservative talk radio station in the country, in New York, uh, and, and obviously New York's the largest market, they track the commercials on there. Out of the 86 commercials, 77 of them were public service announcements. You know what that means? That means they were free. They, they no paid advertising. 77 out of 86, disastrous. Another seven? Sad day are sponsors that are about to leave. Do you know, hold, hold here, you know how many sponsors have already said they're leaving the Rush Limbaugh program? 141. Flushing down the toilet. He's, yeah, don't do it. Okay, 50 specifically have said no Rush Limbaugh. 98 giant advertisers, McDonald's, uh, Allstate, the list goes on and on. Ford, Toyota have said we don't, not only Rush, we're so sick of this conservative talk radio, take us off of Sean Hannity, Mark Levine, uh, and uh, Glenn Beck, Michael Savage, take us off all of them, okay? The whole format is in massive, massive trouble. They already had trouble with their ratings. I told you about portable people meters. They finally switched to a somewhat reliable rating system. It's only in 48 markets. All the other markets that Rush is in, it's still nonsense ratings based on diaries. Oh, I think on Wednesday, two and a half months ago, I might have listened to Rush, they write that down. It's fictional. People aren't listening to them, and if they are, they're old men. We've seen the demos before. So, all of these things are happening one on top of another. So, and they, by the way, uh, so what was the final number of paid ads that are gonna stay on Rush Limbaugh's program when they track WABC? Two. Two I'm out of 86. Dog. Don't ask me if I'm all right. Hell no. Hell no, he's not all right, man. World of trouble. Two out of 86 advertisers? How the hell are you going to stay on air? And then Premier, which uh, runs uh, Russia's program, just sent a note to all their stations saying, oh, you know what, uh, for two weeks we're going to go ahead and reorganize and stuff, and we're going to take off all of our ads. Uh, you know, the things that we normally, that's how they get paid. It's called barter ads. They exchange ads. We get a certain amount of ads. You get a, The local station gets a certain amount of ads, right? They're saying all of our ads... Uh, you take them for free. Why? Because they, they have no one to sell them to. Oh, we're reorganizing, we'll get back to you in two weeks. You might not get back to us in two weeks. I mean, look, they're paying him a world of money, so I don't know how it's gonna resolve itself. And he's got many years left on his contract. But the ratings are horrible, the advertisers have almost all left. And then, they, first of all, they did a poll. They say, okay, was apology of uh, Limbaugh sincere? Rasmussen, conservative uh, polling organization. 29% said yes, 53% said hell no. Obviously it wasn't sincere, it was the least sincere apology in the history of mankind. So, is he remorseful? No, he doesn't get it at all, so what did he do? Well, uh, on Wednesday, he attacked Washington Post columnist Alexandra Petrie. Now, he can attack any columnist, if she happens to be a woman, who cares, that's not an issue at all. But how did he attack her? Well, let's listen. Now, Ms. Petrie, I, I don't know who feeds you your information. I have a pretty good guess. But you might, you might want to double check here because you've written something that's patently false. It's an out and out lie, complete with your B.I. itchy opinion in it. And it is untrue. After all this, you're going to say that? I mean, forget that you're, you know, insulting women and coarse, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, forget that stuff. But have you no sense? Have you no common sense? Do you not understand business? They've all left the building. You're there by yourself in your mansion with your lavender candles, which we read about earlier in a magazine article. He has his butlers 
to uh, do scented candles for him when he comes back into his mansion in Palm Beach. You're sitting there all along, big guy, and you're sitting there, ha ha, yeah, she's a slut, prostitute, B-I-H, <laughs> I got him. Who did you get, you moron? You got yourself, and that's all you got. This is going much quicker than I anticipated. Even I'm surprised by how badly this death spiral has gone for Rush Radio, Rush's radio program. Not only Rush Limbaugh, but the entire format now is in a world of trouble. 